It started in the Roaring Twenties. It continued on through the greatest generation of World War II and remained popular up into the counterculture era of the 1960s. It's neon, of course. During this time, the streets were glowing with bright neon signs marketing everything from hot dogs to clothes, department stores to nightclubs. Places like Las Vegas and Times Square probably come to mind first when you think of neon signs, but they were everywhere, in every city and town in America. And in Cincinnati at the American Sign Museum, where they have the largest collection of signs in the country, you can see many of them restored to working order. But it's not just neon. They have examples of hand-painted signs from fences and buildings, signs that look like the service they are advertising, a wrench for a handyman service, for example, even examples of old tobacco barns throughout the Midwest and Southern U.S. You can see them all at the American Sign Museum in Cincinnati, and if you're lucky, maybe still out on the road.